Let's establish why the standard approach fails. What's the weak spot in a standard machine learning forecast? The fundamental vulnerability, it really lies in induction. Machine learning models are brilliant at extrapolating complex patterns from the past, but because they're purely inductive. They're just looking backwards. Exactly. They are philosophically bound to suffer performance degradation when sudden large shifts happen, shifts they've never seen before. They're great at telling you what's likely to happen if the world keeps behaving like it just has. So if the patterns they learned yesterday are suddenly irrelevant today, the predictions are basically useless. That's the heart of the problem. Mm. We have a few technical terms for this. First, there's non-stationarity. It just means the statistical properties of the data change over time. A correlation that held true for five years might just flip when the Fed changes its policy. And on top of that, financial data has a notoriously low signal-to-noise ratio. It's hard enough to find a signal in stable times, let alone when everything is shifting. And when that instability hits, the models run into two specific problems, two types of drift. They do. And they are lethal to profitability. The first is data drift. That's a change in the distribution of the input variables themselves. So maybe yeah. oil volatility suddenly triples. That's data drift. But the more dangerous one, I think, is concept drift. That's when the fundamental relationship between the input and the output changes completely. So, for example, for a decade, maybe low interest rates meant banks could easily lend more. That's relationship A. But then suddenly a new regulation means low rates don't increase lending. The concept has drifted. The old rules just don't apply. Right. The model knows the old rules perfectly, but it can't adapt to the new ones on the fly.